So Cobra runs off and ends up stealing the strap from the humans and came back to the hood on timing, bro. While Caesar and his shawty meeting back up with the gang, he caught Cobra on low ground doing a side quest, but didn't input fast enough and got blipped. Bro fell off that tree grabbing his chest like he was finna pledge allegiance. Banger. So back in the hood, some humans got let in by Caesar. You got the neighborhood bully Cobra over here pressing them. And these ain't no regular apes. These fools be talking and jump. Got that are you smarter than the fifth grader intelligence. Cobra over here like, Oh, oh, shiver my timbers. He started screaming like he had an issue. That theme music came on and all the monkey holes cleared the way. That camera pans to the left and Caesar over here shoulder posted on the wall like a Glee character. Brody steps out and he got all the shawty shook. Hey girl, I told you Cobra crazy. Yeah, he is. But Caesar finna cave his dome piece in. Then Cobra interrupts Caesar's walkout. Talking about some, you let humans in hood. You put apes in danger. Caesar sick. Caesar doodle -ba. Caesar gave Cobra that mama stare. Like when you keep touching too much stuff in the grocery store. Then he saw his son and was like, oh nah. You ain't gonna hold me in front of mine. And then bro started crashing out. Spearing Cobra dead in his gut. But Cobra hit that reversal and took the high ground on Caesar pummeling Brody. The whole hood in the back just instigating. Caesar saw the shawties watching and turned into Jordan Poole, averaging a 20 point triple double. He hit that spin move, regaining high ground, hit bro with two bites to the jaw, got him dazed. Then started spamming heavy attacks. Caesar is really over here landing Sharkeisha level haymakers on Koba. Then used his grab, trying to choke bro out while bashing his cranium galactus into the flooring. I see there is no concussion protocol around these parts. Caesar let out that him scream. And bro, Koba is in straight chicken box mode. Sent dude straight back to the lobby. I told y'all niggas I was crazy, but hey, don't kill. Hey. Caesar stepped over Koba like Iverson over T. Lou. And Koba looked over and saw the humans witness that pack up session. I knew he was going to spend the block after that. And his two shawties up top that ran off on him. Yeah, he's cooked. Bro coming back with no morals. He gets up and asks Caesar for his forgiveness. Caesar spared Cobra, but he knew this was the spark of a soon to come nigga moment. So Cobra runs off and ends up stealing the strap from the humans and came back to the hood on timing, bro. While Caesar and his shawty meeting back up with the gang, he caught Cobra on low ground doing a side quest, but didn't input fast enough and got blipped. Bro fell off that tree grabbing his chest like he was finna pledge allegiance. And all the other apes over here confuzzled. Caesar's son peeked over and saw the blicky, but it was all part of Cobra's plan. He showed the gun to the gang, talking about some. Go on, go on. And I ain't gonna lie, whoever voiced bro's line, hold bro, he was not cooking with that voice. But OG Orangutan knew something was fishy and told the other humans to run. Then look who shows up, thinking they in the edit. Freaking Cobra. Bro hopped up, grabbed that gun from old boy. Then submitted his nominee for this year's Oscar. Humans kill Caesar. Set home on fire. Apes pack humans up and smoke on dead ops. So Caesar's son healed his pops back up to full HP and started spilling the beans on what Copa's real plan was. Bro woke up and knew what he had to do. Caesar's pull up game is strong though. Bro slid up on Cobra and the apes in the new hood. Dude, Cobra jumped over that red one like he was cool. Then bro start looking up slowly with this balding comb over build. Thing about Cobra though, he got that thing on him and he will let that mug loose. Caesar, this is my hood. Apes follow King Cobra now. Bro rolled his eyes because he ain't hearing none of it. Oh, lame old nigga. King. Koba, doodle bop. Caesar stay roasting broski. Now he over here heated and if bro was smart, he would get the game to just go ahead and jump man Caesar. Cause I know that last fade Koba lost is still on his mind. Man started monkeying around, hyping up all the other apes. Then tell Caesar, Caesar, weak nigga. But Caesar came back with that unbeatable roast. The same roast reversal technique. Koba, weak nigga. Bro got tarnished boy. He looked at that blicky and I thought it was over, but I guess the new hood got to his head. He threw away his best chance of beating Buddy. Anyways, bro pressed Caesar and dropped two hands for feet dead to his chest, making him land spine first on this metal rail. 
Caesar ate that lick though and kicked Koba in his jump full range of motion. Man's controller died midair, so he hit that noggin on the way down. But Koba really got home court advantage and started wailing on Caesar. He hit him with a double handed overhead, a quick uppercut, then double overhead again into a jab hook setup, finishing it with a backhand uppercut. Okay, Koba really got in the lab after that first fade. To no avail though, Caesar fell off and Rey Mysterio Koba into the scaffold. Caesar's homie asking for that jumping cameo like this Mortal Kombat, but Caesar shook his head no, cause he know Koba is really light work. Bro got up after taking fall damage and went straight back to hoa nigga mode. He picked up this pipe looking crazy bro. Got Caesar looking flabbergasted. Koba must got his sensitivity maxed out though, because he can't hit Caesar across the dome piece with that pole to save his life. And what's up with this moving fade? If y'all goofies don't stay still so I can get the angles for the ground? Caesar over here cornered with this Minecraft shield, but that mug doing wonders, boy, cause he parried all these Fisher Price swings and continued to roast. Koba, swing like weak, oh nigga. Caesar really got bro in again, Jutsu. Got him by his element. Here comes the final round. A double hand to the gut. That lick got man's face in the wrong direction. Now Caesar done weaved his jump and kicked the pool right back into his gut. He did that backward stinky leg to retreat, but Caesar wants his ISO and press bro. So Koba starts spamming, of course, but he didn't know Caesar was scheming and caught yet another double hand to the liver. So what does a grommy nigga always do? Yeah resort back to his grommy ways because man's yanked down that debris got man's tumbling into a tarzan emote and then they got third party by some explosion down below once that happened i knew these goofies were whole stuff started falling and no luck for little homie right here he caught a beam dead to his spinal accordion meanwhile caesar over here flopping off the chain like lebron bro got up from that flagrant two file and saw his homies just laying out greased by the fool who brought tnt to a fist fight Oh, lame on it. Look at bro eyes. He could have swore he was finna get saved. Koba lifted that rubble for one thing and one thing only. That blicky, my nigga, so go ahead and let me hold that. Why bro so devious? Like, I know you're getting cooked, but why take it out on the NPCs knowing they can't fight back? It pans back to Caesar trying to help a fallen soldier, but Koba came out the cut to smear these goofies noggins across the middle with the blick. Now dude showing his true colors. He should have had this energy at the beginning of the fade. And maybe he'd be up right now. But Caesar got behind cover, looked to his right, just to see his homie get greased like Ricky from Boys in the Hood. Caesar looking like, Is this nigga serious? He took matters into his own hand and leaped chest first dead onto Koba's forehead. Bro must really think he a rock star jumping like that. These fools just been tackling and wrestling on these beams like they ain't taking no damage. Somebody's bluffing, my nigga. Now Caesar over here slumped with no plates, while Koba over here dangling from the metal beam like boots from Dora. Dude forgot to crack his knuckles pre-fight, now he losing grip. I guess Caesar popped the sensu beam, cause he pops up head first with the high ground once again. And he got that look of disgust over top Koba, like he fed up with all of his shenanigans. So Koba pulls the last trick out his book, that talk no jutsu. Ape, don't, kill. So Caesar reached down to grab Brody. Mind you, he still hasn't said anything, but then he caught a glance of his pre-smoked homies and turned into Arthur. Koba, not a Koba, weak nigga. Say what? Then he dropped Brody off into oblivion. And that's how I'ma do y'all if y'all don't subscribe. Jusu Mafia, hidden technique. Peace.